What's going on, y'all? It's Das, and I'm ready to open up a big fat can of whoop ass right here in The Walking Dead. This is Walking Dead Season 3, or as they're calling it, The Walking Dead and New Frontier. And I'm just gonna start this video off and this entire little walkthrough series off by giving a preemptive I don't give a fuck if I make some choices that you don't like. You got a problem with it? Eat a dick and die. With that being said, let's get this bad boy started. So we got a choice to either start a new story or to continue a story to add a backstory from previous seasons. So we're going to continue our story. Hopefully my choices carry over. I think I still got all my saves from season one and two on this right here. All right, so there's going to be a little cut right there because I went to try to uh, upload my backstory or upload my save, but apparently it's been such a long time that the last time I played The Walking Dead season two was on PlayStation 3. I don't have my save, so we're going to need to recreate a backstory so let's do this right now so in the walking dead season one clementine met lee after she lost her family and home he protected clem and taught her the importance of fuck justice let's uh let's talk about survival clem and lee traveled to savannah where lee sacrificed himself to save her as he lay dying Lee begged Clem to shoot him. After Lee's death, Clem found more survivors, people who helped her, such as fucking my boy Kenny. A lot of people had problems with me siding with Kenny throughout season one and two. Like I said at the beginning of this video, eat a dick. Clementine remembered the joy she felt when she was reunited with Kenny. He showed her that survival depended on. family. Thanks to her companions, Clem's journey ultimately led her to Wellington. At the end, I was with Kenny at Wellington. At Wellington, the community would not allow Kenny in. Clem decided to leave with Kenny. Clem learned the hard way that survival depended on Uh, fuck. I did help Jane out. And I did try to steal the resources, so I'm kinda... I'm kinda split here. Man, fuck people. Fuck people. It never got any easier. Clem remembers how she stopped AJ's dead mother from biting him during an ambush. But her, drawing her gun risked angering their attackers. Clem cho- I fucking bust guns. Can't stop me from tearing some shit up. When a man who had once threatened Clem's life was dying of thirst, he begged Clem for water, for a drink of water. Clem did not show him fucking mercy. Did I show him mercy? I think I might have given him water in hopes that he spoke up but he didn't say shit. I would have let him die if I knew that was the outcome, but I think I did show him mercy in that choice, so we'll stick to my choices. Alright, so true to the end, in season 2, Clementine longed for a place that was safe, but it always seemed out of reach. Clem watched Jane provoke a fight with Kenny that ended in Jane's death. AJ, Kenny, and Clem continued on to Wellington, where Clem learned Kenny would not be allowed in, so they left Wellington together. So that's pretty much... I think I'm on track as to how my choices went in season 1 and 2, so let's start season 3. I couldn't upload my save from season 1 and season 2 because it's copyright protected on PS3 and I didn't upload it to the cloud, so I lost that save file forever. But uh, we're not worried about that, we're worried about this. Let's get this bad boy started. I know. Hurry, I'm just on my way. 
David, I had to leave my car. It's traffic. It's just backed up for miles. He's dead. No. No. I, I, I tried. You're a piece of shit. You know that? Word. One time. Just the one goddamn time that you needed to be here. Don't fuck with me. Come on, please. Please don't do that. Word, you word? All right. See, you going to join Dad? They've been here for days, and where the fuck were you? <sighs> we're there, all around him. People who love him, all around him, and he's scared. I'm seeing the panic in his eyes, and he's searching the room. Donde está Javier? Donde está mi hijo? I'm there, right beside him, holding his hand, like a good son, and he doesn't even see me. He doesn't even see me because he's looking for you. You don't think there's a million places we'd rather be? You don't think we all had to make sacrifices? He was my dad too, all right? I mean, you're not, you're not the only one dealing with this. And what a fine son you turned out to be. You can get your ass with. Why, why are you fighting? <sighs> I could hear you from inside. What's going on? Dad's it's a piece okay, of shit. Kid. Your dad's just a bit of a bully is all. Don't. Uncle Javi's just joking. You gonna start with me? I'll fucking finish it. Go inside, mijo. We'll be in in a minute. Go on. It's okay. Inside. Fuck you, you gonna knock me out? You was on top of me about Come to on. beat my ass some more? I got it. Fuck you. Look at him diamond cutting your ass right here on the concrete. I should call someone. Pick up the body. Yeah. I love you, little brother. You know that, right? everything going on fuck off you think I was jealous of you yeah I do no, I, I don't think anything you better man up Javi well I was for a long time you've lost more than I'll ever have but maybe something good can come out of all this because we need you here. So I can get it's my ass beat some more? Up. You can't run from this. Not anymore. Man, fuck y'all. I'm out of here. I've got my own life. I'm gonna find some zombie with some big titties. I'll be here for the funeral. And then I'm gone. I'm kicking rocks. I'm getting to stepping. Then that's that. Javi. Kate. I'm so sorry, Javi. I'm so sorry. Thank you. Let's go inside. Your mom needs you. What happened? David's a piece of shit. That's what happened. Come on. Lucky I don't Triple H's ass and bust him in the side of the head with a fucking sledgehammer. Gonna extend his motherfucking hand out to me like I'm gonna break it off and shove it up his own ass. Fuck out my face. So who's Kate? Mama. Really, nigga? Where were you? I'm gonna hit your ass too. Give this bitch a fucking stunner. I tried. I'm so sorry. He's gone, mijo. He's gone. <laughs> He's in a better place, mama. No. Uncle Hector's taking care of it. What are the plans for the funeral? David made arrangements with your 
father before he passed. No puedo conectarme. Dicen que no hay servicio. You thirsty, baby? You want some juice? Grandpa's cup was empty. He dead, motherfucker. You don't have to fill his cup up anymore, baby. Grandpa is sleeping. Forever. No, Yaya. <laughs> People's awake. I like how they let the little girl go up there first. It was good, Grandpa. That boy chilling, looking out the window. How is this possible? Oh shit! Might be a little hungry. He trying to get some. Oh shit. Oh, he bit her fucking cheek. That boy wants some snacks. They're about to give me the choice to save this dude and not watch. Oh, damn. Maybe not. We need to go. We need to get her to the hospital. Oh, she's fucked. Let me look at it. Let me look at it. Gabriel, where's your sister? Keys. Where the fuck are the keys? Take Dad's car. Keys are on the dash. Mama, get the kids. Meet at the hospital. Don't take the highway. It's blocked. I'll bring the van around. Where's Mari? I, I don't know. Mija. Mariana! From the stars! Mariana, we have to go. Yaya's hurt. Come on, honey. We have to go. No, no, no! You better get your little ass out of there. I know the way. Oh, you too, Hector? You better get your ass out this damn van. Oh boy, here he goes. I guess that's at the beginning of the outbreak because they have no call. What the fuck? Get your ugly ass out the middle of the goddamn camera. That must have been at the beginning because they have no concept of the zombie. The zombie outbreak. Tell me when it reaches the campfire. And why does that matter again? Assuming you told me before and I wasn't listening. I've worked out how to track how fast they're moving. To know how far ahead of them we are. Damn it, I left my water bottle. Her just got there. Just under four hours. Come on, we should keep moving while the kids are asleep. We gotta get rid of yeah. these damn kids. They just gonna slow us down. What happened to Hector? <laughs> Where's Hector at? <laughs> Holy shit. Don't 
¿Dónde está Hector? Y Nick está fucking dead. Pensé que estaba volviendo hacia el norte, pero no estoy seguro de nada. Cada vez que pienso que deberíamos solo quedarnos en algún lugar y esperar para que pase, no puedo romper la idea de que se quede en el medio de eso. Solo sigue llegando. Es lento, pero eso también hace que se vea peor. Me hace sentir como que estamos en control. We should keep moving. It worked for us so far. As long as we stay supplied, we're fine. Yeah, maybe you're right. The van isn't so bad. We'll figure it out. We always do. Hey, I'm gonna sneak a smoke. I can't believe you found weed. Are you kidding? People were probably growing this before they realized they needed food. You want me to do that? The last joint you rolled looked like a kazoo. You're driving, and I've come a long way since then. Uh, it was like three days ago. Relax. Mariana's got headphones on and Gabe is drooling. I think we're in the clear. You want some? Shit, why not? Yeah. Got to keep my I'll nerves. Sure. Got to keep my nerves in control. <coughs> we are setting an awesome example. Yeah, fuck them kids. <coughs> Don't judge me. <laughs> oh, when I found out David had kids, I told him I am not changing who I am around them. <laughs> and when he proposed, I reminded him that I'm not exactly stepmother material. <laughs> <laughs> Case in point. He was reassuring, but yeah, I could tell he was worried about it. I knew he'd try to get me to change. <laughs> or at least he'd hope that being around the kids more would change me, you know? <laughs> I suppose it did. Do you miss him? I think about that a lot. Honestly, I'm not sure. I used to talk shit about all those mothers who'd go on about raising their kids being the hardest thing in the world. Oof. Gabe's making me start to think they had a point. <laughs> His mood swings are just... Oh, I don't know. Some days I just want to leave him by the side of the road. That's grimy. I like you. Joking. She's not joking at all. <laughs> Jesus, obviously. <laughs> Look, I didn't sign up for this either. Sometimes life decides for you. That sounded deep, didn't it? <laughs> uh, no. No, it didn't. Look, I love these kids. But I could do without Gabe reminding me I'm not his mother whenever he's pissed. Kick him in the nuts. He's a teenager. Puberty. Hormones. Oh yeah, the second you start getting boners, the whole world starts to get dark. <sighs> what are you talking about? It sounds delightful compared to dealing with bloody underwear. <laughs> Alright, let's not talk about that shit. Christ. I need to get laid. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> I realized that was an awkward transition. Sorry about that. Oh, I can pull over. It wouldn't take a minute. <laughs> wouldn't be worth it for just a minute. Huh. Am I gonna mm. try to smash my brother's girl? Oh, Absolutely. So Pine cones. Don't it's worry so about gross. it. We're um. We're smoking weed. You want to hit? I already know you guys do drugs. That's a pretty severe way of phrasing it, Mariana. Don't tell Gabe. He's the one who told me. Oh, oh my god. You're even smoking in the car now? Shut all up. Right. Everyone roll the windows down before you all get contact high. Maybe they should get a contact high. We're about to make a supply stop. So don't be so goddamn annoying the entire time.
So all things considered, we got a pretty good setup if we got a working van. And yes, I did just try to make moves on my brother's girl. That's how grimy I am. I don't know what happened to David, but that motherfucker shouldn't hit me with that motherfucking right hook. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a piece of shit of a human being. I really am. No, that's not necessary, Mari. We're all the protection we need. I'm praying I find a candy bar. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. What do we actually need? Uh, a candy bar. Need, Mariana. Not want. Really need a candy bar. <laughs> Pretty much everything. If it looks useful, let's use it. All right. Well, let's start with some gas and move up from there. Uh oh. <laughs> this motherfucker got a crowbar in his jaw. He still got an afro. What the fuck? <laughs> Sit your ass down. You ain't done? Swing, batter, batter, swing. Take your nap. Hey, where are you going? I'll kick your fucking okay, ass. Okay, that's cool. Have fun. Moody little oh, bastard. Jesus. It never ends with him. I hate when they fight like that. I really hate it. It's like all Gabe wants to do is argue. Doesn't matter what it's about. He takes after his dad. At least you have your headphones. Yeah, but the batteries have been dead for a couple of weeks. I mostly wear them to fool you guys. Well, when you put it that way, I wish I had a pair too. You can borrow mine if you want. I might just have to do that. Be nice to find some dinner. In a junkyard. You never know. These past four years, people have been hoarding all kinds of shit in all kinds of places. Oh, and Mari, if there's any trouble, you can find one of these cars. Yeah? Lock yourself in and don't come out. Not even once it's quiet. And wait as long as you can. Okay. Good girl. Just gonna shove that motherfucking gas can in my asshole. Now let's see if we can go find us some gas. We got a couple of uh, indicators right here. Let's talk to the chick right here, Mariana. Hey, any luck, kiddo? I need a pen. The fuck you need a pen for? Or a pencil. Just something to write with. A pen? Why are you looking for that? There's just something I really want, I really need to do. And I need a pen for it. Last night I was thinking about this stupid story my mom used to tell me all the time before bed. I used to hate it. But... But then I realized... I don't remember the ending. It was this goofy ending she thought was so funny and I thought was so dumb. I want to write down everything I can remember about everything. Cause if I forget, and they're all gone, I'm kinda gone too. At least a little bit. I just think that might be kinda important. Maybe. That's a great idea, Mariana. All right, so I'll find her a pen. If I, uh, if I remember that shit. What do we got over here in this little pile? Just rotting bits of old rubber and tires. I like her much more than her brother. Her brother's a piece of shit, just like her father was. Nothing good left. Someone picked it clean. I may not be his daddy, but I'll whoop his ass like I'm his motherfucking daddy. Don't play games with me. You know I don't know how to act. Waste oil. No use to us. Most of the dashboard is torn out. Seats are gone. Ah, this thing's dead. Let me make sure we don't have anything behind me. Then we'll move forward right here. Uh oh. Damn matches. Here we go with the poking shit. Oh, that's gross. OK. 
Okay. Now I'm sorry I did that. You gonna need a tetanus shot, fool. That's uh Kate over there. Tire stack. Let's uh let's talk to Kate first. Let's see what she has to say for herself. You find anything? I can't stop thinking about that herd. We get caught in it and, and that's it. Peace, asshole. Can't charm your way out of that one. And we'd be gone in seconds. Hey, don't think about that. We're careful. We're smart. We'll stay ahead of them. <sighs> Luck runs out just as easily as gas. There's gonna be a last one, you know? A last tank of gas. Last piece of food. What if this place is empty? And, and the next? And the next? We're not gonna let that happen. Okay? <sighs> okay. I let it have its five minutes. I'm good. Don't you start going crazy on me, Kate. I'm gonna need you to hold it together. At least until I get up in your drawers. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's uh, continue to check out this Rudy Poo ass junkyard. We got some gas right here. Let's siphon this car. Once this car made someone very happy. Now it sits here, rotting away. Así es la vida. Might be able to learn some Spanish from this plate. Oh, look at this sucker! Get out of here! Sneaky little bastard. Like I said, might be able to learn some Spanish from this plate. Impress some of them big booty Spanish hoes. I'm just gonna say no homo on this. <laughs> I'm just gonna say no homo. <sighs> on that little siphoning animation. But every bit helps. Cause that was some special right there. Acetylene. Handy for welding, but not much else. Useless. Let's examine this car before we siphon it, just in case there's a little sucker hiding somewhere. Look at this dude on top. I wouldn't have minded having one of these back in the day. Let's get some gas before we talk to his punk ass. Come to Papa. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I'm way too immature. <laughs> Barely anything. I'll need to find more. This boy over here chilling out, not doing a goddamn thing. Uh, I don't think these tires would fit the van. Not even contributing. What do we got back here? A ladder. We'll go up that ladder last. Let's see what this punk ass sucker has to say for himself. What's going on in there, buddy? I'm in a bad mood, okay? I want it to go away, but it won't. Stop being a little I just bitch. Wish How about we that? Always on the road. I like being with other people. Just. We're in that car so damn long. The AC hasn't worked in ages. And then it ain't my last damn tape. Well, that's a sweet idea. But it's safer to keep moving. I don't know. Maybe just leave me alone. Okay. But if you want to talk later, I'm around. You telling me to leave you alone, and motherfucker, I'll leave you here. Piece of shit. I just, I just, I want to meet some people. This one looks promising. Kick him right in his motherfucking dang line. <laughs> Give me that gas, baby. Bingo. Looks like we got a decent amount of gas. Now let's go investigate that ladder that was over here. It's probably going to be some suckers. We probably will be rumbling with some undead dumbasses. Uh oh. Let's make sure we uh, check the area out before we advance. Too risky to search up there. Doesn't look stable. Alright, let's climb this funky ass ladder. Looks like there's more to see up here.
Any luck? Some. But not enough. Gabe? Hey, Gabe. Let's go take a look over there. Gabe? Stay close to Javi. Got it? Oh, all right. Yeah, try to make yourself useful, sucker. If worse comes to worse, I can kneecap him and sacrifice him to the zombies. We got us a plan. Hey, look. There's one they never took to pieces. Good catch. Let's open the back first before we siphon it. See if we got some medical Shit. supplies up in here. What? Still might be gas in the tank though. All right, let's get the gas then. Shit. It's locked. All right. Here goes nothing. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Bro, don't make eye contact with me while I'm doing this. All right. <laughs> Look at all that fuel. This is going to take a while. All right, so uh, let's look around while that's coming out. Pause. <laughs> See what we can find out in this uh, in this scrap Looks right pretty here. Picked over. We gotta see if I can find me a which I'm gonna call that a pen that that little girl wants. Looks like I can't go back this way. Let's advance this way. Oh shit! Uh oh. Get some. Hmm. Looks like it came from in there. Gabe. Stay close. Uh-oh. Let's, uh, is there anything here on the outside? Let's check this little car real quick. sacked a long time ago. Uh... Doesn't look like there's anything on the outside. Let's go inside. Let's see if we can get our peak on before we run up in there. Might be able to get in through the hatch. Locked. Let's see if we can pry it open. Not gonna be able to pry this open. Damn it. I guess what's his name is gonna have to make himself useful. Climbing through that hatch. This should lead to the hatch. Oh, I gotta go in? He ain't gonna do shit? I'm ready to sacrifice his ass. Oh boy, here we go. Looks like we're clear. Gabe, come check this out. Not the cleanest place. Oh, no muertos, at least. You might not want to put that down. Just be careful. Just shove that right back in your ass pocket where you keep it. At the ready. I gotta remember it's over here on this motherfucking counter. Because you know the sucker's gonna come running up in here. Uh, let's uh, explore this area before we talk to this fool. It looks pretty comfortable. And pretty gross. Are you kidding me? Lucky for you, they put enough preservatives in this stuff to last for centuries. Oh, there's enough food in here to keep us going for a long time. Oh, 
check it out. This is actual honest to God pudding. Seriously? And it's not just food. There's a mattress, there's blankets. Someone else's mattress, someone else's blankets. We need to just take our gas and get on the road. This place does have a funny feeling about it. And if Muertos were to somehow surround us... Great. Now I'm officially creeped out. Come on, one night. We bunk down, eat a real meal. It would be nice not to sleep in the van for a change. Please. The herd is coming, if it's not here already. We should go and get ahead of it, before it's too late. The fence is reinforced. We'll be fine. We found this. Why can't we just enjoy it? Javi, can we? We could stretch out, sleep well for once? Come on, you know it's not a big deal. We've got guns. We can protect ourselves. We're gonna get what we came for and get out of here. Great. Another shitty cramp night in our shitty cramp van. Hooray. You can stay. Come on. Let's at least grab the food. Motherfucker, I'm leaving. You can stay if you want to. But if we stay here, we're gonna get fucked up. Either zombies or whoever owns this piece of shit is coming back. Hey, thanks for that. Backing me up and all. How does it feel to be the bad guy this time? It must be a new sensation for you. Fuck them kids, man. I don't know. Oh boy, sleeping in the van again? <laughs> All I'll say is you definitely owe me one. <laughs> yeah, well, you owe me like a dozen, so I'll just shave it off your tab. Hey, Kate, can you come help us with this? Hey, uh, wait, but you... This way you can make up for being the bad guy. Thanks. Grab some gas. We need to head out soon. Uh oh. What the fuck do you think you're doing with our gas? Uh oh. Go on, speak up! Uh, no comprehendo, my nigga. <laughs> you know I'm gonna start shit. It's mine no, now, motherfucker. Don't fucking test me, boy. You ain't the loner type. I can tell. I know you got people. No, uh -uh. I'm alone. Honestly, people just slow me down. Uh-huh. All alone. Yeah, sure you are. Fan out, look for the others. Lonnie, you're with me. Come on, brother. Javi, I hope you know CQC. Gonna need to hey, do it real quick. You assholes in there! I got your bar! You don't want them getting shot, you best come out there careful with your hands up. Go on, you first. You get ambushed by your own people, that shit's gonna make my day. Open it real slowly. Where's the CQC option? Don't fuck around with me, boy. CQC, CQC. Oh, they're smart. Oh, they're smart. These are all open. Motherfucker, I like pudding. You can't just take what you like. I don't roll over like that. I ate all those. Yeah, me. You? By yourself? Nah. Yeah, what can I say? I fucking love pudding. That's what I said! You got a real smart mouth. You fucking watch what you say. You about to get my foot in your mouth. Look, I, I, I get it, all right? You're starving. Who the fuck is it? At the end of your rope, thought you hit pay dirt. Honest mistake. 
but I got this sneaky fucking feeling. <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> that you're full of shit. I ain't gonna let it be like the last time some assholes rolled on us. Keep an eye on this dickhead. I'm gonna grab some cuffs. You got it. Just chill, okay? No need to make this any harder. You have no idea who you're fucking with here. I think I'm fucking with somebody who's full of shit. You're fucking with someone who knows CQC. This doesn't have to go. The fuck was that noise? What you got hiding under there, boy? If you know something, you better spill it. You don't want me finding out for myself. Get some, sucker! Guys, get the fuck in here! Shut your bitch ass up! Oh, bust him! Bust him right now! Holy shit! Why did you do that? Why would you drop Have the fucking gun? What you done here? Are you fucking serious? Wait, 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 wait! Don't. Javi, you stupid idiot. You grab the gun and you start tearing up. <gasps> oh, shit. <sighs> Who's this hey, my goofy family? looking Where motherfucker? What did you do with my family? Fucking asshole. Just do us both a favor and pretend you're still asleep. I wouldn't start talking if I were you. You're lucky we do things a certain way. I'm already tempted to put a bullet in your brain for what you did to Lonnie back there. Man, fuck Lonnie. If we start talking, I'm gonna get angry. What happened to him was an accident. Yeah, right. Keep talking, we might find ourselves in a similar accident. You get what I'm saying? Please, you have to believe me. We were just... Not another word, or God help me, I'll put you to sleep myself. We still got a haul ahead of us, and I'm not about to listen to you. What the hell? What the fuck? Stop. Oh, shit. Oh, no, no. Good God! Check him for a gun. There we go. Fucking bust him right now. Bust him right fucking now. Hey! Looking forward. Uh oh, I know that fucking voice. I know that voice. Look, I'm no threat to you, okay? I surrender. <laughs> no threat, huh? Tell that to the dead guy. I ain't fucking with you, Clem. Okay. Now don't do anything stupid. Oh my god, that's my I'll girl. A lot quicker than you did. You're a kid. Well, wait, did you do that? With the tree? I was trying to stop the truck. Fucking solid Clementine. Oh, shit. What do you need the truck for? To drive. Put your hands up and close your eyes. Look, I'm the victim here. We're all victims. Oh, so it's okay for you to rob me? This is payment for saving you. 
Hey, that's for my niece. She loves chocolate more than anything. I promised it to her. Please. Clementine is so eyes good. closed and count to a hundred before you go. Wait, just... My family. I need to get back to them. We were attacked and I don't... Look, I just need to know where I am. We were driving down the 522 and that's when we found the junkyard. They're still there. I need to get back to them. I know where that is. You said you were driving? In our van, yeah. I'll take you to the junkyard. If you let me have your van. Oh my god, Clem. I get you there in one piece, then I drive away. Clem. We that need our van, Clem. Is our home. It's all we got. You can come with that us. Sounds like a no. How Clem. about you just give me directions like a normal person? How about I shoot you and take the van anyway? Jesus, Clem! A better deal for you. Good God almighty! <laughs> She's fucking grimy! Is this really necessary? I don't know you. I don't trust you, and I'm not taking any chances. Fair enough. So it's safer for both of us if you're tied up. Look, I get it. You're being cautious. Glad we understand each other. The name's Javier, by the way. People call me Javi. Clementine. Now it's nice to meet you, Clementine. If you say so. Please don't bust me, Clem. Because <laughs> if I was in control of you, Javi would be dead already. But please don't bust me. <laughs> Uh-oh. You gotta get him, Clem. You gotta get him, Clem, please. Kick him in the leg, and plus, just like Jane taught her in season two. You're good at that. Look, you don't want to talk? Fine. But how about you give me that gun back so I can at least defend myself? For That's not gonna I know, happen. You turn around and use it on me. Look, I'm not gonna shoot you. You shot the other guy. Well, you didn't tie me up and stick me in a truck. Muertos. The herd caught up with us. You're gonna need to untie me, Clem. Please. Please! <laughs> Muertos. What do you call them? Walkers. walkers. Well, what do you call the ones that run? They're all fucking walkers, okay? Look, I'm just... I'm not used to being around other people. Not for a while, anyway. Usually, it's just me on my own. Apology accepted. I wasn't apologizing. So, who's at this junkyard? My brother's kids. And his wife. My girlfriend. It's impressive. Surviving this long. Not sure how you did it. Just keeping everyone together like that. I did whatever I had to do to protect them. Kept them out of trouble the best I could. Sucks. That sometimes it's not enough. Well, how about you? You must have been pretty young when this shit started. I was. But some people looked out for me, too. What happened to them? Where's Kenny at? Same thing that happens to everyone. Uh. Shit. We can't stay here. There's a town up ahead. We can stay there until the herd passes. Otherwise, we're walker food. Can you do that, please? We can't make a detour. I need to get to my family. And I need that van. But right now, you have to trust me. Oh, you mean the way you trust me? Don't make me regret this. Come on! <sighs> there! Oh, shit. 
Clem, where did you lead us to? Get to the gate! Let's keep going! You'll open up! Oh! Hey! Open up! Damn! I can't open the gate till you clear them out! Can't risk it! All right, let's buzz guns then. Get some. That's Clemens. Or maybe not. He's aiming in a different direction. Fuck! These bullets won't fire. I got you, Clem. Get your ass inside. Come on now. I had a horse? What the fuck? God effing damn it, Francine. One of these days, those doors are gonna close and your ass will be on the other side. <laughs> yeah, and when that day comes, Trip, I promise I'll eat you first. Oh, she's sassy. It's Clementine, right? You staying a while this time? No. Once the walkers pass, I'm taking this guy to a junkyard off the highway. My family might be trapped there, hiding from some very bad dudes. Well, shit. I'm truly sorry to hear that. This herd rolled in pretty quick. We're hoping it's gone just as fast. So, just keep your heads down and steer clear of trouble. You got me? There's too much going on outside the walls tonight. We'll be cool. Just need a place to ride out the herd, that's all. All right. I'm gonna hold you to that. Somebody's gonna fuck and with us. I wouldn't us. recommend changing your mind. If you want to hang on to all your teeth, that is. Don't threaten me, bitch. Now head on in. I got shit to do. Well, welcome to Prescott. Looks like Solid Clemens already been through this area. It's a pretty cool place, actually. Built from an old airstrip, I guess. The people, on the other hand, they're not my favorite. Fuck you looking at. You See, I'm gonna start in trouble. Out as quick as I can manage. Not exactly an option this time, though. Hey, what's the problem? You have some sort of history here that I should know about? Not really. I just I know what people are capable of. It's fair enough. Hey, Javi. What's what's up? My family. They're still out there. If you guys made it this long, I I'm sure you know, they'll know what to do. Hopefully. Let's go, this way. I gotta see a guy about some bullets. Motherfucking solid Clementine with that thick ass shotgun. Jeez. I haven't been in a place like this since... Well, you know, it's just like the old days. Listen, I gotta take care of something. Hang tight. Well, wait, wait. What should I do? I don't know. Why don't you make some friends? Oh, you know I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna get in a bar fight. <laughs> Looks like someone's in the middle of a game. Can I fuck it up? Is this dude over here? You want to say something? What you looking at? Well, he's not going anywhere. Thought he was eyeballing me. I wonder where they found this old thing. I haven't seen one of these in years. It would have been cool if that shit worked, but... Chess. Not really my game. I think Gabe used to play, though. Can I fuck it up? Nope. This dude is napping over here. Let's, uh, look at these punk-ass car players. Play your hand. You're gonna lose, but you don't have to do it in slow motion. Don't try and rush me. <laughs> I know your game. This is my game. Clearly. Always a smart-ass. Well, it ain't gonna work. Well, let's see what they have to say for themselves. Excuse me. Oh, you again. 
You got some moves, I'll give you that. Hold on a minute. Don't I know you from somewhere? Do you? I don't know. Maybe. Garcia. Javier Garcia. For what it's worth, I think you got screwed on the gambling thing. A lifetime ban. Shit. Should have had a 20-year career. The way I see it, nothing wrong with betting on yourself to win. <laughs> and that got a lifetime ban? Honestly, I don't even think about it anymore. Past is the past. <laughs> Fair enough. Anyway, I'm Conrad. This here's Francine. He runs the place? I just take his money. <laughs> yeah, well, maybe I'm just letting you win. Oh, actually, if you're the gambling type, game's poker. Five card stud. I'll raise you. What do you think? Should I call or should I fold? <laughs> I'm about to make you lose Don't your get money. Too intimidated. I lose more often than I care to admit. Though all it takes is one good hand. He's bluffing. He's got bullshit written all over him. <laughs> is that a fact? All right. I think I'll listen to the man. Call. Moment of truth. Flip him. Oh, my. Ain't that a pretty sight? Oh, hell yeah. Nice. Oh, calm down, both of you. Thanks for the advice, hon. How's about a drink? On my tab. Bottoms up. Wow, man, this smells like turpentine. <laughs> That's the weak stuff. Don't turn away from me. I'm talking to you. Oh, shit. No. Uh -oh. Clem's about to fuck hey, somebody up. I talking when I already told you a deal is a deal. And it's done. What's going on? This guy ripped me off. I traded him a crate of perfectly good batteries, and he gave me a box of bullets that won't fire. He could have gotten both of us killed. Oh, yeah? And yeah, who the fuck are you, a bodyguard or something? Because I don't scare easy, all right? And I don't respond to threats, neither. She doesn't need a bodyguard. She can take care of herself. Believe me. Uh, well, you can't even prove those are the bullets I traded you. Oh, hey, Clem. Damn! <laughs> Listen to him. He's not even nervous. I could have died because of his bullets. Unfucking believable. Look out! Are you fucking serious? Oh, you gonna die in here, sucker? He's about to juke up Clem! Damn! Break his arm! Hey, listen. Let's all cool down, huh? You were acting crazy, I was too. We just... got a little out of hand. That's all. Just give me what I'm owed! Jesus! You gotta get her under control, man. You gotta give her motherfucking bullets! This ain't no way to do business. Boy, you have it wrong, buddy. I don't control her. Which looks like bad news for you. We had a deal. All right, hey, okay, all right. So, hey, we'll we'll trade back. I'll find some batteries. I don't need batteries. What I need are bullets that won't get me killed. Oh. <gasps> oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Damn, Clem. Clem. Right now. Say he attacked you and that he was going for his gun. I fucking warned you. Eli attacked him. I only shot because. Shut it. You done enough talking. Did he die? Drop it. There's a herd out there, and you're firing off a fucking... What the fuck happened here? He attacked Javi, okay? It was self-defense. Enough from you. Did she really have to shoot? That motherfucker came at me with a knife. Look at my of course eye, man. Did. Of course she's telling the truth. The guy ripped her off, reached for his gun, and would have shot me if she hadn't stopped him. See? You happy now? <sighs> God damn it. I'm putting you two under lock and key until I figure out what to do with Whoa. you. Oh, hey, what? Are you for real? As real as it gets. Now move it. Got some nerve coming in and fucking up my bar. You knew I was gonna cover for my girl Clementine. Lights out. Both of you. Try it, punk. Eli was a grade A certified dipshit. I'll even have someone come take a look at that cut. You better stop talking shit. Hey, thanks for having my back at the hangar. That was, um, that was cool of you. 
I wasn't sure there for a minute. Of course. Anytime. Well, I mean, you and I are a team now. Thanks. I mean it. Hell yeah, I want to team Just up with Solid Clementine. Don't think this makes us friends or anything. Hello? Oh, damn, you cute, girl. Come on up Hello. in here. I'm what passes for a doctor around here. The trip sort of overdoes it sometimes. I hate that I'm treating you in a cage. Like you're some feral animal. Javier. Pleasure's all mine. Is it now? Yeah, now, yeah it is. let's see about that wound. Why don't you take your shirt off and examine it? <laughs> yeah, he got you good. Try to hold still. <clears throat> Why is it always the pretty ones who end up causing the most trouble? As if good looks equal bad behavior or something. <sighs> I've never understood it. Are you calling me pretty? <laughs> I was talking about Eli, the dead guy. Oh, yeah, good. Because I prefer dashing. Or debonair, maybe. Yeah, I'll try to keep that in mind. People are saying she killed a man in cold blood. If you don't mind me asking, what did happen exactly? That they were arguing and that she went crazy over nothing? Look, things got out of hand. Clementine was only trying to make a point, but then... You make it sound so casual. Best thing is probably for you two to leave town and get back to your group. We were attacked earlier this evening. There were four of us. Oh, shit. I'm sorry. If there's... If there's anything I can do to help. Well, not that I have much to offer you, but... I know a thing or two about losing family. If you really want to help me, let us out of this cage. Eleanor? You done yet? Just about. All right, here's what we're gonna do. I'm driving you that junkyard myself. Get you out of my hair, and no one can say I didn't do right by no one. In the meantime, you two can sleep right here and think about what shitheads you were earlier. On my terms, and on my timeline. You got me? Fair enough. All right, fair enough. Fair enough? Go kiss a skunk's ass. I should be earning a goddamn Boy Scout badge for this. Trip, it doesn't seem right to wait. Javi's people, they could need a medic. Nah, no way. Not putting you in that kind of danger again. That's not your call. Look, maybe there's another way. We've got a rear gate down at the other end of the airfield. We don't use it much, but... Well, we could leave tonight. Slip past the herd, get a jump start on reaching that junkyard. If your family does need help, I'll be right there to give it. What? Seriously? When you do that for me. It's just. It's the right thing to do. Anyway, think about it. I've got to check on some patients, but I'll be back in an hour. You know? I never would have guessed she had it in her. Yeah. She's... She's something. The thing is, is, and maybe this sounds weird, but I still trust Trip more than I trust her. Hmm. I mean, what... Where did you get that from, Clem? We'll leave with her tonight. We're leaving tonight. With Eleanor. If it gets us there even a minute sooner, it's worth it. All right. I'm in. You know, when I met you, I thought you'd just be another asshole like everyone else. And to think that when we first met, you nearly blew my head off. <laughs> yeah. Guess I made the right call. It sounds like Eleanor will be a little while. Maybe we should get a few winks. Good idea. I'm exhausted. I'll get the lamp.
Uh oh. That's good. Getting into first gear is the hardest part. Flashback time. Now, just stay on the road. <laughs> Most important rule there is. Now, let's try shifting into second. That's my boy Kenny. Punished Kenny. Not bad at all, especially for a first time. You just gotta ease up off the clutch a little smoother, all right? You don't have to make the switch all at once. I want to do it again. You will. And next time, just be gentle. And once we get down to Florida, we'll ditch the wheels and I'll make a sailor out of you. Mark my words. You too, buddy. That boy loves him some damn boats. I just can't get him to talk. It's unusual for his age. Well, the heater's broken. He's cold. Only makes sense to head for Florida sooner than later. Leave all this snow behind, right? Be like summer every day. Hell, I'm gonna have to find me some shorts. Yeah, no kidding. It's freezing outside. The sooner the better, for sure. No more winters ever again, Clem. I'll teach AJ to fish, how to swim. We'll watch the sunrise every morning. All three of us. But we ain't getting nowhere doing 25 miles an hour. Shift her into third. Let's get her really cooking. Well, there you go, Clem. Time we get to Florida, you'll be a better driver than me. Proud of you, Clem. Hey, I really appreciate you teaching me. You know, I, I always dreamed about the day I'd teach Duck to drive. You're the best second chance I could ask for. Where's your blanket, goofball? I swear this kid never makes a peep. Who knows how long he's gone without a blanket. The Duck was gabbing a mile a minute his age. Wasn't full sentences, but... Something. AJ's a survivor. He knows making too much noise will only get him killed. But he's a kid. Kids shouldn't have to worry about that sort of thing. <sighs> Crap! Uh oh, what I the hell's it. going on? Turn the wheel! Don't! What the fuck happened? Uh oh. Get up, Clem. Get up. AJ? Oh, God. You're okay. The fuck happened to Kenny? Kenny? Oh, shit. Okay. Shit. Help me up. I got you, Ken. Come on. Come on, Ken. I don't. I don't feel anything. That's good. No, Clem. I don't feel anything. Oh no. I can't feel my legs. I just can't get up. Damn it! Well, I, I can get you into the car! I don't... <clears throat> Shit! This ain't gonna work, Clem. Hey! Hey! Stay away from him! <laughs> you gotta go help AJ, Clem. I ain't letting you watch those fuckers chew me up. Go, Clem! Now! AJ will be safe with me. I'll take great care of him. I promise. I know you will, Clementine. I wouldn't trust AJ with anybody else. Now, go! Hey, dipshits! Come and get it!
Sun's up. <sighs> Trip's probably mad as hell by now. What do you think he'll do to you? Oh, nothing. He'll yell at me a little. Trip and I, we sort of used to be a thing. It was for like five minutes, and it fizzled out fast. But he never really got over it. Not that he's weird about it or anything. I just know he likes having me around. I gotta say, I think you can do a lot better than that, meathead. Are you being serious? You know what I mean. Guys, that's the place. Yeah, this is it. Oh, shit. Guns out, yeah? If you insist. Jesus. Must have been hundreds of them. Kate's good in a crisis. She'd know how to get shelter. What's that? Listen to what you said. Lock yourself in and don't come out, not even once it's quiet. It kept running through my head like on a loop. I don't even know how long I was in there. Then I heard your voice. I thought I was hallucinating at first. You did exactly what you should have done. I always knew you were a smart kid. Thanks. It was scary at first, but once the muertos couldn't see me anymore, they just passed by. Kate and your brother, where are they? We got pulled apart when that huge bunch of muertos showed up. Kate yelled that they were going to try to make it back to the van. Then that's where we're headed. Let's go get your brother back, sweetie. Oh, no. No. No sign of them. They must have seen it like this, then gone someplace else to hide. Kate. Ariana, stay back. Wait! Nobody shoots. He's right. We fired the truck. We might hit them. after you. I swear I did. You don't have to snot all over my shirt about it. I thought we were dead. Like, never gonna see you again dead. We only had a couple bullets left. I thought we were done for. You're still alive, aren't you? So is Kate. So is Mari. That's all that matters. I was just so scared. I'm here now. You don't have to be scared. Hey, you hurt yourself. Must have scraped it in the truck. Didn't even notice. Hey, at least it's not a bite. Eleanor, think you can take a look? 
It's okay. I'm a doctor. I'll clean it here, then patch you up back home. See? Better already. We should be getting back. Don't want to push her luck. Who's the kid with the gun? She have a name you want to share with us? Or are you going to make me do my own introductions? Clementine's a friend. Hi there. Glad I was able to help. Well, we're very grateful to you. Really. There's a town nearby. It's safe. I like the sound of that. Oh my god. Javi, do they have hot water? Even, like, lukewarm water would be okay. Ugh, oh, and bubble bath. Wouldn't bubble bath be amazing? I think so. Right, Eleanor? <laughs> of course we have hot water. We're not cavemen. I thought you'd been to this place. I have. I just... I didn't have much time to relax in my jacuzzi suite, <laughs> you know? You look happy. I am. Search and rescue missions don't usually end so well. Alive and healthy. Sort of incredible. Guess I'm a lucky guy. The luckiest. When we get back to Prescott, you still owe me a working ride. I haven't forgotten about our deal. You couldn't have known what happened to your van, but still, I need some way out of here. Don't worry. I haven't forgotten our arrangement. I know it's not the easiest thing to find, but... Cool. Thanks. God. They're gonna come after your family again. Let Eleanor help them. You stay with me. What? No, Javi, you have to come with us. Javi, please! Trust me, Javi. We have to end this now. No, Javi, please come with us. Please! Javi, come on! Get her back to Prescott. We'll cover you. Javi! Go with them. I'll be fine. I need your help, Gabe. Just keep firing until they're out of sight, okay? I'm ready. Javi, don't!
Oh, oh my fucking god. Alright. So Telltale is back to their fucking piece of shit tactics. I just fucking you up completely through these goddamn Walking Dead games. So that's the end of episode number one. And I got fucked up at the end. Let's take a look at my choices right here. Myself and 47.8% of players chose to head back out onto the road. Oh boy. I wonder what would have changed if I had stayed the night. Probably nothing much. Of course I shot that piece of shit. Fuck him. Fuck him. Myself and 94.7% of players got locked up. How the hell do you avoid... I guess if you rat Clem out, she gets locked up by herself. But you know I'm not gonna betray Solid Clementine. So we went with Eleanor to the junkyard. I wonder if that. I wonder if we could have kept our fucking family alive if we went with the other guy. He might have had a car or something. Fuck. And myself and 83.9% of players stayed with Clementine. So those are my choices at the end of this little episode right here. Like I said, I got fucked up with that Kenny flashback. If you've watched part one and part two of my walkthrough for uh, uh, Walking Dead season one and season two, you know how I was with Kenny throughout the fucking entirety of every part of every season. I was with Kenny when he was fucking with Larry. I was with him then. I was with him at the end. And all throughout season two, while I was playing as Clementine, I was with him. And just to have him... Just to have him taken out like that in the, uh, in this season right here really kind of fucked me up. I wasn't really saying too much because I was still dealing with that. And then as I was dealing with that, the little girl Mariana got shot right in her damn head. So you knew I was going to stay with Clementine and see if I can get my revenge on those assholes who shot her. But the ramifications of my actions will be seen, hopefully, in episode number two of season three. And hopefully, y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you like the video, share the video out, and subscribe to the channel. And then I will see y'all in part two.